Hey everybody, how's it going? John, over here at Turning Wrenches. How y'all doing today? We're gonna be uh, working on my 08 uh, Dodge Avenger uh, 2.4 uh, liter engine. Uh, I gotta do an oil change on it, but not only do I gotta do an oil change, I gotta replace the oil pan gasket on it. Uh, a while back, when I did an oil change on it, I had to replace, I was going to replace the oil pan gasket, put something, the oil pan gasket on there. Uh, I didn't let it set up long enough with the RTV they give you around it. And uh, I tightened the bolts a little too tight on it at the time and I ended up messing the gasket up. So every now and then it would start leaking oil there. So I'm going to replace that. I ordered it from my Amazon. I uh, got her for $17.49. We're going to get her O'Reilly and just have it already, but they wanted $31 for the gasket. So, no big deal. And it's the same thing. Going to have the RTV on it, too. So, no big deal. And stuff. So, no big deal there. So, I don't know how I can do this. I'll try to do what I can. I can't find my little mini tripod. So, I'll try to show you guys what I'm doing with it while I can. Here, I'm going to put my car up on the ramps. It's windy today. It's raining. It's been raining and stuff too, so I'm going to stay underneath here, underneath the carport today. I'm going to pull my car up on the ramps here. Uh, I'll get the oil pan set up, and we're going to drain the oil out, and I'll show you, bring you guys along for the ride. And uh, this goes for anybody else that's working on a 2008 or 010 Dodge Avenger. There, uh, this will show you guys how to put the oil pan gasket on there too. So, without uh, further delay, let's start wrenching. Let's uh, start working on my uh, 08 Dodge Avenger here and fix this leak. Okay, I'm gonna I pull my car back some because I'm gonna give me some room to work on it. It's a big car for it here. So I'm gonna pull my car up on the ramp now. Let's see, let's see how this will work. simple enough. We got the e-brake on, so we're good on that. Alright, so got that all set up here. Here, I'm going to bring you guys in here. I'm going to show you guys real quick. You guys are on the tripod. I wish I can, I'm going to have to get me another uh, stick thing to put on here. I wanted to show you guys that's what my car has right now. It's getting uh, 218, 921. So it's getting ready to hit a uh, 219 here shortly. And the, like I said, the oil change light is on. It's been a good car for me here. There's some other issues I got. I got to fix. I'll I'll tell you guys about it later in this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drain the oil out. I'll show you guys me doing that real quick. And uh, I'll go underneath the car and uh, show you guys what all you got to do to do that. All right, I'm going to bring you guys underneath the car. It's going to be some wind noise, so I'm just going to let you know ahead of time. All right. If you guys can see, now you guys can't see. Let me get my phone here. Put on the flashlight. I'll show you guys underneath here what it's doing. See what I'm got going on here? Got an oil leak right in this area here. See how it's dripping down? So all this needs to be replaced. Uh, the only bolts are going to be fun is this one right here because the air compressor is right here. So I think there's two, three bolts right there. I think the rest of them are like tens. 
it should be metric I think it's tens here all the way around and that should be it I think and then of course I think that's a 17 to get that off of there for the drain plug it's right there also like you said like it's like I said I messed this gasket up a while back as you can tell right in that area too so it's been leaking and as it's been dripping down and stuff it needs to be replaced here and I'm gonna do it right this time and I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride here so I'm gonna go ahead and drain the oil out real quick I bring you guys there to the point where I'm draining the oil out okay I got you guys underneath there you can see me drain the oil out here since I can't find my tripod you guys are resting up against my tool uh, thing my tool uh, area here um, let's see I think it's I think it was a 17 let me make sure let me get underneath let me get underneath here and see no it's a, it's a 16 might be a I think a 16 it's, Nope, 17. I was right the first time. 17. Okay. 17 millimeter socket. We get this off of here. I got one of these big old decent drain pants. There we go. Broke that loose. Now I'm going to try not to get oil on myself. That's going to be a feat in itself. So. Okay, there we go. She needs an oil change. I ran it, so the oil is going to come out a lot quicker. Oh, it's going to spit out at me. Oh, spit out at me. Oh, spit out at me. Oh. Let me open up this thing. There. I'll keep her from doing this thing. There we go. Probably got to drain out quick. I'm going to let that drain all the way out. I'll bring you guys back. We're going to get the... Let me get this... Uh, let's even get this oil pan uh, gasket off of here too. Where we're at it. So, I'm not going to bore you guys with that draining. I'll bring you guys back when it's through. Alright, I got the oil drained out. And I got the oil pan uh, bolt back on there. Now, I'm going to correct myself on this one. Here, real quick. And I'll bring you guys over here. So you guys can see it real quick. Okay. So, it's going to be windy. Bear with me. Here. Okay. These are tens. The bolts I'm shining on. These are tens all the way around here. Let's try to get you guys the best angle I can on it. There's some right here too. If you guys can see it, they're there. These two bolts right here, that one, and the one that's in this little hole right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Those are twelves. So that bolt there and that bolt there are twelves. And that I think is also a 12 that's right there I'm shining that light on too so three of those bolts right there are 12s the rest of them are 10s I'm gonna zip those off real quick I'll bring you guys back when I get the last bolt off of there because the two bolts right here that's for the air compressor that's gonna be fun to get off of there so I'm gonna zip all these off real quick my air not my air my um, impact but they're not gonna go back on there with the impact they're going on there with the regular uh, socket wrench so we're going to do that real quick, uh, I'll bring you guys back and uh, here and uh, after I get them all zipped off of here. 
Okay, I got the last bowl I'm going to take off. There was another bracket you had to take off here with the alternator. I mean, excuse me, air compressor. Uh, it's a 12 here to take this off. And there's two more. I think two more you got to take off of here too. There's four in total you got to take off. Which I'll show you guys when I get to that point. I'm getting ready to zip the last bolt off of here. Which is right there. I think it's a 12. Let me see. I think it's a 12. And this get oil pan should, in theory, come off of here. So, let's see if I'm right. I should be right. It's a, long, it's a long stud that goes in that last part there that I showed you. So that one's another long stud. And there, there goes the oil dripping everywhere. Okay. I think these are the same size. I think, okay. Now, here comes the fun part. Everything should be off. Now I gotta try to pry it. Here, let me give me a flat head. Let me get in here. Hopefully enough of you guys can see. Turn it a little bit so you guys can see, hopefully. I'm gonna get in here and try it, pry around this gasket. This pan. Here and see if I can break the seal. There's a joke there, so I'm break the seal. There we go. All right, that's gonna be a big mess. Yeah, this is where the gasket failed. There we go. Yeah. I got the oil pan seal underneath there. There we go. There we go. There is my uh, 218,000 mile car. Well, it looks like underneath there. That's the old gasket. I'm going to have to run around uh, this thing here and get that off of here. Okay. I, I did this in a hurry. At my old house, I put this on and I was in a hurry that day doing all this. And I should have took my time. But, and that's what you get for not taking your time. And cause yourself some problems and that's what I did here uh, like I said this okay so I'm gonna have to go my scraper go across here and clean this up uh, solid stuff, some solid stuff, but he can start eating, uh, by the time stage four comes on, he can be eggs and stuff and everything, but he couldn't have eggs. Yeah. Have okay, I'm gonna clean up this gasket. I'll bring you guys back when we're getting ready to hook this thing up. Put this thing on here, the oil pan gasket, and I'll show you guys what it looks like then. So I'm gonna clean all this up real quick. I'm gonna scraper and get that cleaned up, and then we'll bring you guys back when we're getting ready to put it on. Okay guys, brought you back over here. I cleaned the oil pan gasket, I mean oil pan off. 
best I could. I went over with some brake parts cleaner and cleaned all that out. So, there. It's not bad in there. I take care of my car. There's no dents in the pan or anything like that. So this is the gasket I got. I got it off of Amazon. It came with some RTV sealant so I can put around here to hold the gasket in place. Here. And I don't think you have to put it on there that tight. So, I'm going to use this, cut into this, go ahead and get this gasket out of here. Let's see what we got here. Oops. Let's drop it in the pan. <laughs> High temp gray RTV silicone gasket maker. Resist oil, water, and antifreeze safe all models. Got the little spout for it. Here's the gasket. It's a cork gasket, I think. Yeah. Alright. It's decent quality. Let's see. Let's make sure it lines up first before we start putting everything on it. Let's see. Have to stretch a little bit, it looks like, on some of it. Some of the holes line up, some of them don't. You know, the cheap way to do it was it be just put the pan on here with the gasket and do it that way. You could. But I'm gonna probably put I'm gonna put this on here to hold it in place. I'm gonna let it tack up. I'm gonna do it this way. I'll put a bead around here, around the gasket, and on the top, on the bottom of it, there to hold that in place. And I'll stick a couple of bolts in the hole here to, to hold it in place too. So what I'll do is I'll take the bolts that I got. I'm going to stick them on the top of it there to hold it in place and then put the gasket sealer around it. So let's do that right now. You know which way it's going to sit. Let's open this up. Puncture it. And, uh, I want to use that. Yeah, we'll probably use that. Have to cut a piece off of it. There. Use my little scraper knife. There. Start running a bead on here. So let's see. For best results, drive should be clean, dry, pierce top of the tube, and apply continuous one sixteenth to one fourth. 2.2 to 6 millimeter bead of silicone to one surface around all bolt holes. Assemble parts immediately while silicone is still wet. Finger tighten until material begins to squeeze out around flange. Let dry for one hour and tighten to torque specifications. So allow 24 hours to fully cure before filling with fluids or returning to service. Okay. I start running the bead on here. I have to go over it again. Oh, 
Sorry about the wind. Wind is crazy here today. We had a little bit of rain. And then we had all this wind. Okay. That should be enough to hold it. There. I'm going to take this off of here. Put that cap back on there so we don't lose that gasket. Anchor. Now, the gasket goes on like this. Some of the holes line up, some of them don't. So we're just going to have to be very careful when we put this on here. I don't want to make the same mistake twice again. So I'm going to try to get you guys a better angle underneath somehow. So I'm going to let that set up a little bit there for how long they say. Let's see. It says apply finger tighten. Okay. So we'll go ahead and start doing that here. So let me go ahead and get you guys set up underneath there. It's going to be windy, so I'm going to let you guys know ahead of time. It's going to be windy. I'll go set you guys up out there and uh, we'll get this, uh, start these bolts up here. And uh, let it finger tighten and we'll let it secure up for a, sit up for an hour. Okay, I'm bringing you guys underneath the car. I, I didn't want to, I didn't have my, um, I don't have my uh, stick mount with me right now. So I'm going to show you guys what I did. Sorry for the glare. I've already had, went ahead, apart from those other bolts that's got to go on there for the air compressor bracket. I got the other bolts hand tightened down, even though I, I took my, my socket extender and just twisted them and got them tightened best I could there. So they're all finger tightened and away up against there. So we're going to let that sit an hour. Bring you guys back. There's another long bolt that's got to go there. I'll show you guys what all has got, what uh, bolts have to go, long bolts have to go there. And see, there's a little bit of that gasket sticking out. That was the other problem, too. The gasket wasn't fully lining up, so I have to push it up against there. Move it over a little bit. But it'll line up. We'll have no issue with that. It'll line up. I think. There, yeah, it'll line up. I just got to push it over a little bit more, and that'll be okay right there. And kind of overlaps but we're gonna let that set up let that cure and then we'll tighten it down the rest of the way and I think uh, I should have uh, my oil pan gasket oil pan leaking issue resolved so I'll see you guys in an hour for you guys it'll be a couple of seconds for me it'll be an hour so I'll see you guys back here in an hour Okay, I'm going to get you guys underneath the car here. I'm going to put the, I think it's been about an hour now here since we uh, did this. So I'm going to tighten the bolts down. I'm not going to sink them down that hard. I'm just going to tighten them until I, uh, they're snug because you don't have to torque them down that tight. Don't go too crazy like I did. And uh, that's where, where, why I'm doing what I'm having to do with this situation here. So, um, it's going to be a little bit dark underneath here, so I'll try to get you enough light as I can possible. So, like I said, I'm going to get me a set up here. Let you guys 
I'll try to put you guys right there where you can see. I hope, try, I'll try not to be in the way. I'm not going to guarantee it. One bit. Um, I'll clean all that oil and stuff off. Where I got to put the bolts at for that one, it's going to be right there. So, I cleaned off the bolts here for it. <coughs> Okay, let me get underneath here. Now, yeah, uh, where we're going is right there. So I'm going to start with this bracket. This bracket, right here, it's got this bolt. It goes into that hole right there. Where I'm going to shine the light at. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll try not to get in the way. It goes in that spot right there. So I'm going to do that first. Get this lined up. I screwed it in there so I wouldn't lose it. There. And oh, that's right. We got to sink those bolts down first. Huh? Because that's going to be in the way when I do it. Never mind. Let's do that real quick. Alright, these are going to be a 10, we're going to do my 10, of course I put it on the, oh, you guys are able to see, I think you guys are able to see, there we go, I hope so. You guys might be looking at me more than anything else. Uh, yeah, there we go. We'll just do it like that. Hopefully enough you guys can see. Let's put it like that. Let me get my... Uh, Now for this, we're not going to take the, as I said earlier in this video, we're not taking the impact. No, we are not taking the impact. There, so. Okay, I'm going to start with this one, since this is the one I'm talking. Good, good, good. That's good right there. We're going to go in a crisscross pattern. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go over here. There's probably an order. This crisscross it. I don't know the exact order of it. Okay, I'm going to go on this side. Like I said, I need the space shuttle. And I'll show you guys what oil I'm going to put in here. I wanted to put the conventional oil where I work at. We didn't uh, have it. So I had to settle for synthetic. I could, synthetic probably won't be bad for this car. Since it's got 
over 200,000 miles on it. There. So, am I in your, you guys? All right. Let me get over here. Put these bolts down. There. I'm not gonna go crazy on these things. Like I said, it ain't the space show. Go back here. Like I said, there's probably a torque pattern or a torque spec, but I'm not. I'm just going to go tighten so they're snug. And that should all it needs to be. It needs to be sitting against the mating surface of this. And then I can put the other bolts in here then. And we should be good to go. I'm just going over them a little easy. Not too bad. Told you guys it ain't the space shuttle. Okay. I think we are okay now. Since I got all those bolts on there, now we can put this bracket on here. And I lost my light. Okay. Hey guys. Still watching? Alright. I'm going to try not to get in the way of this. Here. Okay. I'm going to shine it right there. And my light will stay. Probably won't. The way this wind's blowing. Okay. That bracket right here I got in my hand. Let's screw, it, screw this bolt. It's going to go through. here Man, it's wind I'm gonna go through there take my bolt back through here again Make sure I line it up Thread it in by hand. Okay. We'll get that in there. Go ahead and get the long two bolts I got here. Now one going in this spot here and this is where I think the gasket is kind of overlapping a little bit so Goes in here. Hmm. Okay, that one goes there. This one. Go in 
from that one up here. Hope you guys are uh, trying to get it where you guys can watch. Get some other bolts in here real quick. Might be easier. And my hat's gonna be in the way. Get out of the way. All right, we're going hatless. Wait a minute, no, that bolt. Uh, I think that bolt actually goes right in here, actually. Yeah, that does. I'm actually missing a bolt. A skinny bolt. That bolt's supposed to go right there. Okay. I see where we're going wrong. Real quick. Hang on. This is going to be the long part right here, folks. Let me thread this real quick. We're going to leave that actually right there. This bolt's supposed to go in here. If I move this gasket over a little bit, if I can, good. Okay, give me a little leeway right there when I do that. Okay, good. Alright. This is my 13. No, wait a minute, it was a 12, wasn't it? Then, yeah. Wait a minute, one of them is a 12. This one's a 12. So we'll go ahead and put that one on there first. This bolt right here is a 12 millimeter. Go ahead and put that in there. Okay, that's good right there. All right. I think this one's a 13. Cause I don't think it's a 12. I think one of them is an oddball. I think these are the 13. Okay. Get the 13 out. I misplaced my 13. There's a 13 around here. So, you know how anybody, you know, they say you miss that, you forget that, you lose that number 10. Well, I lost the 13. Uh, okay, that's the 12, 13, should be over here, I was just using it, there it is, so my little, my little one, okay, this one should be a 13 or a half inch, but I think this is metric, so should be 13.
only thing is though, we're going to let this cure, for, which I got my truck, so it's no big deal. I can let this sit, if need be, and I can use my truck. I can go around if I need to. Hit the surface. Okay, that's good right there. See, so didn't crack the gasket. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, look, you're doing good so far, guys, boys. Let's see. Are these 13s? Okay, these are 13s. I think this one's the 10. Oh, this one's a 13 also. Okay. So we need to put this back on. Now, now we can put this back on. Wait a minute. Oh, I just put that on the wrong one. That one's not right. The one I just put on there was not right. That one. Okay. I thought that was it. Oh. I'm sorry if you guys are not getting any of this, but I'm showing you my mistakes. I'm not editing, editing this. I get this unthreaded. I swore. That means that bolt actually goes right there then. Okay, we'll get it. Let's get this back back on here, though. Maybe we can line it up. Okay, try again. Trial and error. Trial and error. Trial and error. It's supposed to be a bolt right there. I put it in the wrong one. I don't know if it's this, this is the long one. Okay, so this long one, this long one goes in there. Okay, now we're, now we're cooking with grease. Long bolt goes in the middle. Okay, that's snug. So, this bracket should go like so. I tried to clean it off the best I could. Keyword, best I could. Okay, and these three bolts... I got right here in my hand, if you, guys, if you guys can see them, these three bolts uh, I can do this without dropping. Um, These three bolts here I got on my hand. One goes in there, one goes in this little groove right here, 
and then one goes on the end here. come over here I'll show you guys real quick okay there's my light there we go that hole right there that's where the other bolt goes through the other bolt goes right in that spot there and then that one right there I just showed you and that's it right there so I'm gonna sink these down real quick here and then I'll bring you guys back when I get through All right, so it's the next day, everybody. Uh, let this thing sit. I put some oil in it. I gotta probably top up a little bit more oil in it here. Let's see, like I said, my car's got there to 18, 9.21. I have to get in here and reset that when I get in there and start it up. I have to make sure there's no leaks. So far, I don't see anything dripping down. I don't know what that puddle is, or it's right there, though. I have no idea. I'll figure it out. I don't think it's anything to do with the oil. I think it's something else we got going on here. Right. Looks like water or something. Okay, anyway. We're going to start this up. Uh, we'll check the oil on it real quick. Set you guys up on the... The tripod here. Uh, we'll set it up and uh, see how it goes. We'll uh, bring you back in a few seconds. I got you guys set up on my tripod. I'm gonna put the oil in there. I think my car takes four and a half quarts. I put at least, I think, three and a half. I think I still got a little bit more to go on here. Uh, this is what I'm running with. You guys can have your preference on it. That's five weight twenty high mileage full synthetic which my car has high mileage there um, I wanted to go conventional but uh, it is what it is um, at Walmart where I work at we didn't have the conventional oil of what I wanted so I was running synthetic on there for, for right now everybody has their preference on oil this is what I'm going with I've never had problems with Super Tech oil since I've been using it. I use it in my truck. I've used it in my car here. No issues with it. Has the car given me any problems with it? So I have to start it up. We'll let it run. We'll let it warm up. And we'll check underneath to make sure it don't have any leaks. Hopefully enough we don't. Double check it real quick. Let me see where we're going to be at. Taking some more towels. Probably have to get it down off of here. I'd rather keep it up in the air so that way I can check it. Just in case it's doing any leaks. Looks like it's going to take almost all the whole five quarts. I don't want to overfill it. But it's probably because I got it up in the air. That's probably why it's not reading it. So I might have to get it down anyway. So uh, I guess I'll start it up. We'll get it off the lift here. Off the stand, the jacks, the ramps I got. We'll check the oil then and see what it's like. I'll give me a chance to reset it. I'll show you guys how it how to reset it too real quick so let me bring you guys let me guys bring you back into the car now real quick okay we're going to go into the car here get you guys 
in here. 218-921. Um, I know there's plenty of videos out on these cars like here. How to reset the, the, the oil reminder on it. Uh, all you do is basically take the key. Put it in the start position. Push the ga gas pedal in. Right there. Three times. Within 10 seconds. Shut the car off. And it'll reset the, uh, your oil change reminder thing. So I'm going to do that real quick. Sorry for the beeping. Let me shut the door. I shut the door here. Let's turn it on. See if it comes back on. Okay, got it on there. Yeah, I got an airbag light. I got to fix it. It's the clock sensor that went out in this thing. I have to replace. I got the clock sensor. I haven't done it yet. All right, so I reset the light. Um, let's get it off the ramp here, and then we'll see what it does. I got the brake on. Take it off brake. Let's get it off the... Off here slowly. Let's get roll my windows down. Like I said, this car has not been bad for me. Uh, it's got a little quartz. There's some stuff I still got to fix on it. I still got that coolant leak I got to deal with. I think it's because I messed up the heater core on it originally. Like I said, runs smooth. Oil still got to circulate in there. I replaced the serpentine belt not long ago on here. I got an issue with the battery cable here. It's doing this little melting thing right here. I don't know why, but every now and then the battery light will pop on. I think it's because of that. But that's one made whole, one whole piece, so I don't know how I'm going to replace that. Coolant's low on the uh, bottle, I have to refill that. I'm going to let it run here for a few minutes. Like I said, not a bad little car. It's still got its issues, even though for having 190, I mean 218 thousand miles on it of course the tire lights on because it's one of the sensors other than that it's not bad um might take it for a quick drive around the block there we go now it's starting to get a little bit better see now it's starting to idle down it's not making that clacking noise Oh, I got the... Oh. oh, I see what's going on. Hang on. Why don't you guys tell me I left that underneath there? No? Oh, I got it right there. Never mind. What was that noise? It sounded like something was scraping. Okay, anyway. Let's check the oil level real quick on here. Oh, windy. Pop you guys back in the stand. Let me plug this mic back in real quick. Okay. You guys over here. The shop towel. Let's see where we're at on oil wise. I know I just ran it. Still a little low, so I got probably gonna take the whole jug of oil I got, even though it says it takes four quarts. Pretty 
crazy. Well, maybe not. Let's see. Probably have to run it for a little bit. I'm gonna let that oil settle there, and then we'll uh, take it a spin around the block in my neighborhood over here. We'll see how it goes, and then we'll pop it back up on the ramps and make sure there's nothing leaking, and then we'll call it a win-win. Okay? So I'm gonna wait for that oil to settle. I'll bring you guys back after we're through. All right, I got the oil I think topped off for right now, but we'll find out as we're going. So we're gonna get in my car. I had to get my driver's license. Oh, look, the battery light came on. So that's the other issue I'm dealing with that that problem. All right, I got buckle up. That's the other issue. I think that has to do with that um that uh battery cable acting stupid like it is. Okay. Anyway. Um, I'm starting to warm up a little bit. It's off a cold. I'm going to take it around the block here real quick. We'll go around the block. Nice day out today. Let's come out here. It's going to be probably a little bright. Not bad out here today. Uh, let's go this way. Let's go down this way first. See how it goes. Gotta love those automatic door locks. I just cracked that window up a little bit. Like I said, the tire light's flashing on it, but that's nothing new. Airbag light, I know what that is. And, of course, battery light is because of that battery cable, I think. Go around here. That's the school. Nice neighborhood over here. It's quiet here. Go down this way. I want to show you guys something real quick. That house over there, it's a house I have to mow that our landlord is uh, getting ready to buy. Um, I'm going to show you real quick. That guy is selling that F-250 and that and that trailer. That F-250, he wants ten grand for. <laughs> One problem about it. It's a diesel. I mean, I've got nothing against diesels. And it's a V8. Which it would drink more gas than my truck does. <laughs> but the enclosed trailer is nice. But if I didn't have a trailer already, I would get it. Okay. Park back underneath here. Like I said, not bad little car. Got 218,000 miles on it for a 12 year old car. Can't fault it. Well, almost 13. Well, 13 almost now. My son's 12. And he was born in 2009. So this is a, uh, about 13 years old. Not bad. Um, it's not the original radio in there because. Um, the other radio, the little pixel things were acting stupid on it. So I got this off a junk car at, at, at a pull-apart. It's a 6-CD uh, changer one, just like the stock radio. 
There, so I got six CDs I can throw in there. Uh, let's look underneath here while it's running. Let's see if there's anything different going on here. If it is, we'll end this video really quick. Let's look. That puddle is already there. I don't see nothing dripping. Maybe we fixed it. That'd be awesome. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna call it a win. If it's not leaking. It should already leak by now if that was the case. So anyway, we're gonna call it a win-win. So let's end this video. All right, so I think we got the issue fixed on my uh, 08 Dodge Avenger here with the oil gasket uh, leak. I think I'm confident that I got it fixed this time, and uh, I should be okay moving forward. I won't be uh, losing oil. I won't smell like it's burning oil and all that, because I replaced the valve cover gasket again on the top a while back, you know, a few months ago before we moved. So that should be no issue there, and now I fixed the oil pan gasket. That should be good there as well. So we should be uh, golden. So um, I think that concludes this episode here of, of Turning Wrenches. Uh, Tipper Clean uh, wanted me to do a giveaway. Um, I think I will. But I'm, I think I'm going to do it on a milestone. Uh, I reached out to him. Uh, I'm up to 423 subscribers. I think when I hit, hit 500, I think I'm going to do the giveaway. Uh, on something like that. I'll figure it out as we get to that point uh, what, what what we'll do for the giveaway. I might do a, like a little quiz uh, like uh, Casey did at Ellis Mowers uh, when he did a giveaway for Super Clean. Uh, do, sort of like what Henry did with his too on his channel on Mowers and Blowers. So we'll try something like that over here at Turning Wrenches. So uh, let's Get me up to 500 subscribers here, and uh, we'll give away some uh, super clean to one of you lucky fans out there, okay? So uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel here, Turning Wrenches 85 uh, Follow me on Instagram, and uh, like this video, share it along with anybody who has problems with this issue with uh, their Dodge Avenger, if they have one here. Um, been a good car for me. I'm not planning on getting rid of it until the wheels fall off of it or at the point where I can't fix it anymore. And then I'll probably just end up going and get a different vehicle then if that's the case. But um, that's, that's not in the future plans right now. This car still runs. It still drives. It gets me to A and B. That's all that matters. It might be not the prettiest car out there. Um, Probably got the probably hateful engine ever. I know they, they said these 2.4s were not very good engines on them. Well, if you take care of them, so, but I do. I change the oil on it when it needs to. I uh, do need to replace the air filter here eventually on it. So that's probably my next task. Then I'll do that. So uh, I want to thank you guys for watching uh, this episode of me uh, working on, wrenching on my car. So, uh, Keep on wrenching, everybody. I'll see you guys next time on Turning Wrenches. Take care.